Boom, hey internet. Had to make a video about this. I was going back and forth with a subscriber. You guys could always drop messages, but the phone number that I flash at the end of every video, this number here always gets me. So you can communicate with me directly that way. But I never thought about this just because I talk about it so much that I want to make a video. But someone was like, how do I know I've reached proof of concept? Or how do I define proof of concept? And so let me give you a couple examples. Anybody that I've interviewed on this channel and the most recent one that comes to mind is AC, Anthony Christopher, who is the founder of Drawls Brand Co. And I'll use reference for him because one, he allowed me to talk very deeply about the brand and their financials. And a lot of people who I consult with don't want to release that information, don't want it to be public. So it kind of helped them behind the scenes, but I still retain the knowledge in a general sense that can help you guys to move forward. But Drawls Brand Co, if you didn't see the video, the interview, watch it, but that's a no brainer. That's going to be an extreme case right where it's like okay at some point you're gonna be an idiot to not realize maybe you need to put a hundred percent of your resource into the brand and for a lot of the people that I meet that's the end goal for them they want to replace their job with this and the commitment for it to be successful to a degree that's much larger than wherever you have it at this point or I have it make millions and millions of dollars obviously is going to be more than a full-time commitment but you guys should know that hashtag entrepreneur life but at the point where AC was making 80 grand a month past three months. Now I'm gonna remind you, AC worked at a six figure job and the job was in finance. So he's not a sucker, know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't leaving a menial job or a job where he wasn't unfulfilled. I would gather, right? I mean, the second part might be debatable, but that's personal. But he had a career level job is what I'm saying. And so also it being in finance makes me know that he's money savvy or numbers savvy. And so he waited to the point where it was making that much. For you, it might be the minute your brand is making, I don't know, 3,000 a month, and you're like, you know what, this is close enough. You know, if you have a spouse or not, that's definitely going to be a conversation that you guys have. If you're like, you know what, I'm gonna leave my job because I hate it, and I know if I pour into this, I can double or triple that from 2,000 a month to 6,000 a month or from 3,000 a month to nine to 10,000 a month. A lot of this is about testing your threshold as an entrepreneur. Now, I'm Asian, Philippines is just south of Japan, so I actually do not have a really high threshold for that kind of entrepreneurial pain when I'm in the red. Right? So when I hear about entrepreneurs that go bankrupt and lose like a million dollars before they earn it back and then gain like $10 million in other industries, I can't do that. That's not me. I'm gonna stop at a certain point. So I'm actually very safe. I think that comes through in a lot of my consulting as well, but that's a separate video. So to get to the heart of the video, what is proof of concept? I think it's whatever indicates that there's success and that there's want and maybe even need for the brand in the market. And you wanna nurture that flame to become an inferno, right? So it can be showing that you're constantly making two grand a month. For me, two grand a month is not enough to leave a career, but that depends on what your career is at that moment. But proof of concept, I would say at the end of the day is going to be a certain dollar amount that you feel comfortable enough to one, continue and put more resource and time into, right? And then when that comes to a higher number where you can no longer deny it, then you're gonna to wanna to double and triple down on that. And at some point that does mean leaving your job. Now that part is pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. Let me explore the other side of it. If you're one of the people who's contacted me like I've launched my brand a year ago or maybe more than a year ago, three years ago, and you're like, I'm doing it as a side hustle, but it's stagnated, I'm not getting any sales. That's when all the other videos maybe come in and that's when we look under the hood of the car and we take a look at the engine and different things of why it's not kind of progressing or moving forward. And within that, there's a lot of things. Typically execution, art direction of the actual product, maybe really bad social media presence or lack thereof, poor photography. Remember, the minute that you put yourself out there, you're gonna get compared to a lot of these companies that have millions of dollars. And so while there's companies that do it on a really huge scale, again, I'm gonna come back to AC with Drawls Brandco. He bought a camera and learned to use it 
it himself. And if you get on his Instagram handle, you're gonna see a lot of those shoots look super professional. And I was a fashion editor at one point, right? I mean, to me, his media looks just as good as like Gymshark or some of these other companies that have millions and millions of dollars. So it's all accessible to you, but you have to educate yourself with it. You gotta put your time into it. Like everything I'm talking about with just scheduling your drops for our brand, that's gonna take a lot of work. So when I'm talking about proof of content, it's gonna be the result of all of that work put together and seeing at the end of the day, are people really trying to mess with the brand? Are people buying the brand? And that's going to be determined by dollars and cents at the very end of the day. And for you, whatever's comfortable for you, if you can leave a job at 2000 a month, I would think if you can balance all things out and maybe get it closer to five grand a month, now you're going really above the typical salary in America if you're bringing in 4,000, 5,000 a month. Now, you have to take your expenses out of that. You have to cover your own benefits and, and all of that. So again, leaving your job can be a whole nother conversation, uh, but that's what I see as proof of concept is funds coming back of people purchasing the product and then that number level is up to you, but it does indicate how much more time and effort you put into the brand. Hope that helps. If you haven't downloaded my free pre-launch course, take a look at it. It's right here down below and take a look at my other solutions at CBA to help you along your journey of launching, maintaining, and blowing up your clothing brand. If you want to get at me personally, hit me at this number here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.